are special. I am special. That bootleg Iron Man 3 your grandma bought you for your birthday is special. Everything in existence is special in some way. <clears throat> but we are here to discuss about the us special. What distinguishes us from our peers? All of you have had that one feeling, one time, where you feel that you aren't special and I'm here to rekindle the special inside of you. <clears throat> Let me tell you a story, not about titans attacking humans, people doing over-exaggerated poses in fighting. No, this is a story about a boy named... Mm, well, he's very close to me, Kashas Yumar, and his trial to overcome the worst feeling in existence, not feeling special. Life has many cruel ways to bring you down, and I, I mean Kashas, was subjected to one of the worst forms of life's cruel punishments, self-doubt. Picture this. It was the middle of the school year and everyone was talking about what they did during summer vacations. And a lot of people were saying that they did something amazing. Some went for public speaking classes, some dabbled in art. And Kashyas' amazement soon turned to jealousy and to devaluing himself because he wasn't as great as the other kids. And he hadn't done as much as the other children. This self-doubt plunged him into a depression of sorts. One fateful day, life said, Hey, you know what? I think I'm going to give this kid a chance for once. And with that, Kashas embarked on his journey of self-discovery. He sat down for the last time in his room, curled up. But before doubting himself, he heard a voice, almost like a premonition in his head. The voice told him, dude, you get 24 hours in a day. If you spend five hours doing nothing, night again getting some totally overrated sleep, and eight hours in school, what time do you have for actual important stuff? And let me guess, I don't have any skills to build on. I did my homework. Stop lying to yourself. You're just lazy. Now go out there and do something. On second thought, it's kind of odd. He had a voice in his head he hadn't told anyone about, but that's a whole new can of worms to tackle another day. Anyways, after he got that tiny push he needed, from a very questionable but personal source, he talked to his parents and they told him something that should not have been surprising to him. He is a talented child and a great public speaker. Kashas decided to write this compliment down in his rough book, which <clears throat> had currently looked like a graveyard for finished and unfinished drawings alike. Suddenly, he noticed a drawing in solid black ink, a drawing so beautiful it would bring a tear to anyone's eyes of a fat bug's bunny. <laughs> Known as Big Chungus on the internet, he had drawn out of pure boredom, but for once, he saw the pure beauty of it and its artistic impact. This moment was so huge, he Named his 5G internet after it. <laughs> this is not a joke. You know, he's always thought he was an average kid. Getting 80%, having lots of friends, and having his highs and lows. But you see, he was above average in a special way. And his friends and family showed him that. During the pandemic, for more than one year, he was trapped inside the house. He felt like he was on the grid, doing the same thing again and again and again. But after he returned 
to school and got his friends back, he finally felt like he belonged. Thereafter, Kashas worked on the traits that made him special by attending drama workshops. He even taught himself how to draw well and took tips and advice from his mentors. He even tried to purge his habit of midnight snacking. Whether all of these techniques worked is up for debate. <coughs> However, sheer persistence and perseverance led him on a journey of self-discovery. And throughout this journey, his friends and family supported him. Remember, no one is born special and everyone struggles to find out who they really are. My name is Yashas Kumar and today I know that I am special.